In this class, I'm going to show you how to uh, develop a, a, an Excel spreadsheet wherein you or someone else could use it to um, capture uh, scores and then develop averages for each student within your class. Uh, this uh, lesson will be fairly simple and straightforward and I'm not designing it to, uh, I guess you could say, insult anyone's intelligence. But what I am trying to do is develop a, a kind of a quick class on how to develop a um, spreadsheet for that would help a teacher uh, in the conduct of their operation at school. Firstly, I've got uh, Excel opened here, um, and what you see is a, a spreadsheet that's blank. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to title this sheet um, uh, Average Grades. And what I'm doing is I'm just typing in the name down. I had to double click in that tab below. And then what I'm going to do above is I'm going to type in uh, student one here. And then, and then with Excel, what you can do is grab the lower corner of the uh, lower right corner of each cell and drag it down. And as you see, it's, it's building. So let's just say we have 11 students. So in a fill series situation, it's going to um, have student 1 through 11 automatically added as you drug it down that, uh, that spreadsheet. And then to expand it to, um, the, to fit the cell for all that uh, text, all you have to do is double click up here and uh, between the two columns and you see it, it automatically uh, expanded to that uh, area. Now, um, I forgot to add um, a row up top, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on row one and I'm going to go insert, and what that does is inserts a row, and then I'm going to um, insert a, uh, a uh, column for grade, let's say grade one, and then I'm going to drag it across uh, to fill in the, the columns for the various grades and see we'll have 10, let's just say there's 10 t graded events during that period. Okay, so what we've got is we've got a spreadsheet now that has the grades 1 through 10, which are the different graded events, and students 1 through 11 on the left side in, the, in that column A. Now what we can do is, um, and then we'll have, we'll use this um, column L here as the um, um, the average, we'll just say that's the average for all grades. And I'll show you how to get that in just a moment. To continue on with the class, what I'm going to do now is show you how to enter the information into the cells for each graded event. For instance, student 1 gets an 89 on the first test, student 2 gets a 78 on the, on the test, on test 1, or graded event 1, student 3 gets a 45, and 89, and 98, and so on and so forth. Let's just say 78, 77, 89, 87, uh, 67, and let's just say uh, student uh, 11 gets a 78. Okay, now in order to get these cells, uh, you would just obviously uh, you would fill the information in but for expediency sake I'm just going to drag the numbers across and then in this box here I'm going to say fill series and uh, same for this one actually the same for all of these except for because I've got a 98 here it would filling series would not work out very well so I'm just going to uh, drag them across as it stands and then what you do is uh, to get your average you would type in uh, a formula which will be equals sum and then what it is is uh, we're going to average up the sums of columns B2 through K2 so it's B2 and then colon K2 and then we're going to put a parentheses around that and then divided by since there's 10 graded events by 10 so that's going to give us our average so the average for student one is 93.5, and then we can drag that formula and copy it down by left clicking on the right corner, lower right corner, and dragging it down to here. So the average for each student, as you can see uh, clearly, 
is posted in that column now. And uh, if you wished, you could center them all. And to do so, you select the areas you want to uh, center the information on. And uh, you can place the information centered in the cell. To add uh, grid lines around the information, uh, you can uh, select the uh, area you want to have borders around and select uh, all borders. And uh, duplicating the issue or the, the operation again, you do it this way. Now, you can also add uh, colors, uh, which is the fill uh, command. And let's say we want to have that in green, and we want our students to be, well, let's just say blue. And there you have it. You can also adjust the colors of the text, and you can also adjust um, the size and boldness and font. There's almost every function you have uh, within a Word document you can also do in Excel. And uh, you can find more information about this uh, at the website, which we posted after this short video. As mentioned, you can find uh, this and other information uh, at the training site that Microsoft Office operates, which is at this website. If you go there, you can find information about Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, and more. It's beneficial uh, even for the person that's not such a novice, and it's free, which makes it even better. So I hope you found this uh, information useful, and uh, you may contact me at the uh, uh, email in the call-out. Thank you.